on, Bob. We're on. Excellent. Okay, first up, not a whole pile today, actually, next week. Next week, the roads and stuff. But anyway, today, the yellow album, Little Fictions, that was called Little Fictions? Yes, yep. Little Fictions out. Uh, includes chords, I do believe, even though it doesn't say it. Um, anyway, a very pleasant listen. Had it on all day yesterday. Very pleasant. I think I'm going to go see them in the marquee. So I, I enjoyed it very much. So in the shop CD as well. Um, that's the piece of resistance for today. Really, probably the biggest release of today. Um, right, we have a 30th anniversary edition of Judas Priest's uh, Turbo, um, remastered and all that. So. That is also in Music Zone Towers today. Uh, Japan Drive's new album is out. Um, this one is uh, on colour vinyl of some colour. So, uh, 24 page booklet, poster, and download card. Um, so, that's that one. It's Sir Itzel, who's playing Cypress Avenue, I think, in about two weeks. Um, so, this baby's in with us. I have CD as well. Uh, been listening to this a bit all week. We bought like it. Yeah. A bit, bit more mellow from Mr. It's not as uh, not as aggressive and stuff. Uh, Bernard Butler of Suede uh, played a lot on it, played guitar and, and produced it. And you can hear a Suede sound all the way through it. So it's a lovely list in all fairness. So, um, crooner. He's crooning even, but yeah, yeah it's lovely listening. So, this is some soundtrack to Assassin's Creed. I think it's a score composed by Jed. Jersey. I think he's the brother of the director, so it's supposed to be a good score. Um, so that also landed in with us. A couple of legacy reissues, including Steve Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble, Texas Flood. Um, so, and also um, Alan Parsons Project, I Robot reissue. So, and legacy. Um, I don't know if there's much more new stuff. We got, we got some interesting bits in, though. So, we're always trying to ease money gently and kindly and 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 smilingly from your pocket. So um, we we'll show you some tempting stuff. Let us know if you're interested. In that. Anyway, enslaved first one up. Um, I won't try and pronounce Bobby. You're good with pronunciations. No, I'm not. No, no. <laughs> what what language is it? <laughs> uh, Mr. Bowie's heating. I don't think we've had our paws in this baby for a while. Yeah, it's so, been gone. And yeah, uh, it's it. So if anyone doesn't have it and is interested, give us a bell. Right, we've a lot of we've a lot of bootlegs, but they're good, good quality, and some great track listing on them. So the first one is a Guns N' Roses transmission. What's to say there, Bob? Rare radio TV broadcast. Yeah. So there's good track list. The Welcome to Jungle, Patience. Civil War, Live and Let Die. So there's only about seven on that one actually, so I'm sure there's a better one further on. Um, there's Brucey ones. What's that one? I can't read them all. Roxy. Uh, Roxy Night 78 and it's on coloured vinyl I'd say. Your it's volume one. one. Yeah, volume one. Volume two is in there somewhere as well. So we could, we could make up a colour now, lads. Yeah. We could guess. So, uh, ACDC picture disc. Live in Nashville. Yeah, a whole lot of roses on it. Probably James in the city. Um, the Chilies, Dave and Woodstock, 1994. So decent enough track as well. 15 tracks in this one, it's a double. So, um, one of your bands, Bob's. Yeah, Nirvana. Super. What is it? Feels like the first time it's called. Yeah, from '93. Uh, MTV Live and Loud, '93. Um, so yeah, everything you can expect on it. Great heart, heart shape box, pen royalty, lithium. About a girl come as you are, breed, poly, spend 18 spirits, territorial pissings, rape me, hardship, like so. Can't go wrong with it. Like a best of, really. Yeah. A live best of, really, isn't it? So I think a lot of these are knocking around 25 bucks. Uh, marvellous, massive attack. So I'd say this one, what year is this one from? 98, Royal Albert Hall. It also it's after Mezzanine, so it's probably the Mezzanine. Mezzanine 97? 97, 97 I think yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. So it's after the Mezzanine, so we cover, so that'd be a nice one, interested in that myself. Uh, there's Brucey's, the, the second volume of that, is it? The Roxy yeah, one? Yeah, so same one. Coloured vinyl is again. Um, so, and Bruce again, this is a... You can do the reading for me. The Human Rights Broadcast, Argentina, 1988. Excellent. A much younger Brucey on the front. Yeah. Crack and track listing. 13 tracks. Very strong, though. So, very strong. 88. 88. 88. Tunnel of Love was 87, was it? 
Barn USA was a bull. Wouldn't know. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Sure. Weren't even a twink. Robert. <laughs> uh, another Nirvana one live on KSFM, Seattle 87. Uh, yeah, nine tracks. So early stuff. Early stuff, yes. Cramps one. For any Cramps fans out there? Do the clam 1987, 22 tracks. Orange vinyl, is it? Well done, well spotted. Yeah, Robert. I see, all that sales. <laughs> <laughs> what? We're not <laughs> uh, Prince reissues. Say yeah, colours. Purple, purple vinyl. Like purple, I'd imagine. Same volume, is it? Or two no, different two different ones. ones. All right. Or, well, yeah, two, two different. One, one's yeah. a 1991, one's an 85 one. So 90 was Archie Queen, wouldn't it? Uh, must be from around that time. Oh, this is the good Guns N' Roses one, actually. The, the other one is good, but the brilliant track listing on that looks See the old. Oh, it is alright. Isn't it? The quality. Yeah. That's good, alright. Yeah. So, that's that one from 87, where they were probably. That was before the user losing so Oh, yeah, 87 was Appetite. That was the year that came out. So early, yeah, that's early as well. Early yeah. Enough, yeah, before user losings, anyway. They were later. Uh, Pearl Jam live in the Granta. Blue I'd vinyl. Mid 90s again. I'd say so, yeah. The picture looks like it anyway. Yeah. A young Eddie Vedder. A blue vinyl, yeah. So, I hope we're tempting you. <laughs> uh, this is, Ray uh, wants his yacht. Bowie and Mr. Trent Reznor, Nine Inch Nails, toured together in the mid 90s, as you Bowie heads probably know. They kind of co-headlined, there's a volume 1 and a volume 2 of the gig, so they would have co-headlined, I think the boys from Nine Inch Nails were way more commercially viable for touring at the time, Mr Bowie mightn't have been as as, uh, as big a draw, uh, but Trent said no way is Bowie going on the undercard, like, so he said they co-headlined I think. Um, so, so legend has it. That's it. Uh, Funkadelic back in. That's the best of us, standing yeah, on the verge. Yeah. Brain came in as well, and a couple of others came in. Uh, we got a couple of feel good reissues um, on Malpractice Stupidities. They're done by the Jedi. I think they're on color vine. This one's red. There's another one on gold. Uh, Lorena McKennett, you might remember, she's a bit like they can dance kind of a feel to her. You know, this is a big album. Is this the one to visit? Yeah, this is a big album back in the day. I'd say the mid 90s, I'd say. So this is limited, this is number 666. Six, six. Oh, <laughs> six, 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 <laughs> so, uh, uh, so there's 10,000 of them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the best of Lorena McKenna as well. So um, I think she's got Irish um, connections somewhere down the, somewhere down the line. Um, Dr. Feelgood Stupidity is, as I mentioned earlier, this one's on gold. So that's about the scale for today, I'd say. Uh, and air news with us, Bobby. Don't think so. so. Lots of big news coming. Yeah, very big but, news. Yes, but it's an air for today, I'd say that. Sound.